Indiana surprised a lot of people in 2020, finishing with a 6-2 record, only losing to national runner-up Ohio State and Ole Miss in the Outback Bowl. This coming season, they bring back a key component, quarterback Michael Penix Jr., who was lost for the season after just six games with a torn ACL. With Penix Jr. back in the fold, the Hoosiers' offense should flourish as long as he's healthy. The team also added grad transfer Cameron Buckley at the wide receiver position, giving Penix Jr. another target alongside Ty Freifogel and big tight end Peyton Hendershot. Buckley missed the 2020 season due to injury, but should provide some explosiveness to the roster. Despite coming up short to Ohio State in 2020, Indiana proved they belonged among the top tier in the Big Ten. However, in 2021, the schedule returns to normal and teams like Michigan and Penn State are due for bounce-back campaigns within their own division. Moving forward, it's up to Tom Allen's crew to prove 2020 was no fluke. In 2019, Indiana finished 8-5 and and had a 5-4 and record in the conference, up from below 500 campaigns the previous two seasons. If 2020 is any indication, Indiana is still a program on the rise that could pull off some more shockers this coming season. But with the return of a full college football slate, the Hoosiers need to prove they are contenders and not pretenders. With your 24-7 Sports Big Ten update, I'm Nick Costco.